the tool is used for extrications uh, for vehicle accidents and other um, situations or incidents where we have someone trapped. Motor vehicle accidents are one of the most common calls Bloomington police and fire crews respond to. And although many are minor, fire personnel must train regularly in order to keep themselves up to speed on using this tool. This is something we need to be trained on and be, be ready to use at any moment. I mean, that's why we're doing the training today. It's a good refresher for us. You could get three, four at a month and then ha not have any for, for a little while. There's no denying this hydraulic rescue tool saves lives. It's made up of four components, starting with the power source. It's a generator. That's what provides the hydraulics to the tool. The spreader is an attachment that can be inserted into a narrow gap, in this case between two vehicle panels. The arms are opened and the metal is pushed apart. The next attachment is the cutter, often used to remove doors altogether or fully open the vehicle's roof or front end. Then finally... And then there's a, what's called a ram that can spread um, and it pushes, it'll push parts out and it gets real long. A lot of times we'll get to car crashes where the people's legs are trapped in, in the dash and we can use that ram to push that dash back. According to Forrester, vehicles today are designed to better protect drivers. But in the case of a serious crash, crews generally try to adhere to this rule. There is what's called the golden hour uh, of somebody that has had this trauma done to them that you want them out of, in the hospital within the hour. So, you know, we get called, we usually respond within five, six minutes we're on the scene. And it just really depends on how uh, complicated the rescue is. It's good to know Bloomington fire crews have our backs, and it's clear these machines are built to extend lives.